Good morning, everyone. This is your boy, Marvelous Beard. I hope all is well. So, welcome to the channel. And I hope you enjoy for what's about to come right now in a few minutes. Or should I say in a few seconds? So anyways, I have a review, a beard review, and that is Mad Viking Beard Co. So a little bit about Mad Viking Beard Co. It was established in 2013. And how I found out about them is on Instagram. Usually at times I would stumble across them and I sent them a message on Instagram about their in ingredients and they reached out to me and they showed me the ingredients and I appreciate that. So eventually I got to buy one of the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got to buy one of their products. And so the first product I bought was um, the Berserker and that's a beautiful blend. So before I get more into the scent profiles, I'm gonna name the pricing. Okay, so the pricing of the oil will be $18, and that's a two ounce. So that's a lot of bang for your buck. You know, like usually a one ounce oil will cost $18, but this is two ounces, so you can't beat that. And just look at the logo. And just like, um, one of the things I like about Mad Viking Bear Co. that everything's right in front of you. And what I mean by that is that um, you have your your ingredients, what the scent profile is, even on the website. It's all right there listed so you can't miss it. They have all the different types of scent profiles. Um, they have um, apparel, they have wallets, they have shirts, t-shirts, um, beard washes. Also, they have uh, shampoo for their hair and condition for their hair. So they have like, you know, a lot of things they even have stickers. So this is more like a, um, what can I say there? More like, it's more like a biker rock Viking type of feel. And I like that, you know, it's just such a cool logo, you know? So, so the price, like I said, for the oil is a uh, $18. All right. And then for the butter is $19.99. So you get a four ounce butter. Look at that. And that's the the Yotun's brew. And it smells sorry. And it smells exactly like the oil. It's not a powerful scent, it's just right. It's a nice, chill, smooth, wonderful scent. Um the bear wash is $13. I do not have the bear wash with me. So and the oil and balm combo will cost you $33. I do have a bomb and a Berserker blend, but um, that's somewhere right now. I can't really find it right now. But that the bomb feels kind of good. It's not too hard. It's kind of like a medium to strong hold bomb, which is not bad, but I have a thick curly beard, so I, I really don't need bombs like that because my beard just holds its own pretty much. You know, I, I like using butters and they have, um, and Mad Vike, it has a, a fantastic butter and I'm wearing it right now. So, the scent profiles, they have 16 scent profiles, and I have five of them. So, I have the Berserker, which is a, a lemon patchouli. What else? Uh, sandalwood and peppermint. Okay. Then I have the Yotun's Brew, and the scent profile on that. See, that's, like I said, the scent profile is even listed on the bottle. So the scent profile is, is a mix of benzoin, resin, styrax, torquinus, I can't pronounce it, torquinus, or neroli, cardamom, and amber oils for a smooth, subtle, sweet nag chapel scent. And, and this is like one of my um, favorite scents, actually. And then um, the hollow, which is a, a, a woodsy scent, and that's um, sandalwood, um, I believe. Uh, it's sandalwood, pine, veveter, 
What else? Can't really name it right now, but I have the bottle with me. And I'll show you my collection in a few minutes. And then the Valhalla, which is a sandalwood and vanilla. And that's kind of like, when you smell it, it smells different. But it's a definitely, it's a good scent. But my two favorite scents so far is Berserker and the Yotun's Brew. I've been using most. I even put this in my hair, actually. It makes my hair feel good, too. So, also, Mad Viking is based out in Pennsylvania. So, with the, the Valhalla scent, that's more of a, um, like I said, it's a sandalwood and vanilla. And it has like a, but it's not a typical sandalwood and vanilla. It's like a kick to it. It's kind of like a, um almost like a cologne feel but not like a sweet sweet cologne feel it's it's definitely good and, and the scent duration lasts between of like each um oil scent profile is different but for me it lasts between at least six to eight hours so um the oil comes in a pump top and see Almost like water. I mean, oops, excuse me, been out the way. So it's almost like water, and it just it doesn't make my beard feel heavy, and it nourishes my beard. It feels good. It's almost like the oil's not even there. That's how good it feels in my beard. And I have a, like I said again, I have a thick, curly beard. So it just it nourishes my beard. It makes my beard feel soft. I can rub my comb through it. And um, they said on the website they don't use castor oil because it's like um. It needs to be blooded carefully. So, and they, and they were saying that it's too heavy and it can kind of leave your face feeling greasy. This doesn't make my face feel greasy. It is over as well to my beard. I have it on right now. My skin, I'm rubbing on my arms. Mm. And, and it smells so good. It's kind of like a goldish color too, if I showed you correctly. So, there it is right there. It's like a light brownish color, gold color. All right. And then I have the butter. Four ounce butter. And the butter is nice and smooth too. And need I mind you, it's cold up, cold up here too where I'm from. I'm from, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. So it's, it's cold right now. right in the middle or late December right now. So look at that, smooth. Gone, instantly. And the butter feels good in my beard too. Um, it's soft, it, it's creamy. I just easily put it right in my beard. It nourishes my beard. It conditions it. it. Makes my skin feel good too. Because usually when you put the beard products in, you just don't put it on your beard. It's for the skin underneath your beard. And that's what the beard products are designed for. So um Mad Viking is I mean it just has they have wonderful products. That's all I can say. Um But before they came out with the butter, they had a bomb. So they recently just came out with the four ounce butter. So, um, let me get on with the ingredients. So the ingredients in the butter is, okay, give me one minute. Ingredients are shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, jojoba oil, argan oil, and grapeseed oil. And on, and on the website, it says vitamin E, it's vitamin E oil inside the bear butter. It's not listed on the, um, the tin can, but on the website, it says it has vitamin E oil in it. And for the oil, the in ingredients are, okay, give me one minute. Okay, it says ingredients. This bottle contains eight nutrient-rich oils to benefit hair and skin health, skin health, almond oil, apricot kernel oil, virgin argan oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E oil. So, can't beat that. Good quality ingredients. So, sometimes you don't always need castor oil. Even though castor oil is good, but you don't always need it. You really don't. Okay, so only the highest 
quality natural ingredients are sourced to provide vital nourishment for your skin and beard, leaving you looking and feeling your best. Live by the axe, die by the axe. That's cool. So I'll be like a black Viking. Let me stop. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, um, a lot of beardsmen on Instagram, they told me that, um, Mad Viking was actually their first products that they tried and they loved it. So, but I usually don't see much reviews on YouTube about them. So now I'm doing a review and all I can say is, um, they just have great customer service. It's, it's such a great company. Um, one time when I ordered the hollow, hollow, it's not a bad scent. And, but, um, for some reason, I just, I'm not saying I didn't like it. I, I did like it, but it didn't smell the way I wanted it to smell. Like I, I didn't get the pine of Vevitor in it. So what I did was I reached out to them on Instagram and then they told me like, oh, if you don't really like it that, that much, we could refund you your money. I said, no, there's no need for that. I mean, I said, is it okay if I could try another product? And they said, sure, you know. So they, was, they said to me, like, what scent would you like? I said, well, I'm thinking about the Gunnair scent. And that scent kind of reminds me of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, if you ever had Honest Amish. It kind of reminds me similar to that. But for some reason, um, I used it a little bit, but it's it's all right. But, um... So I asked for the gun there scent and the Valhalla scent. No, first I asked for the gun there and then they asked me, well, would you like another scent? I was like, sure. So I asked for the Valhalla. So the, I was like, I couldn't believe it. They sent me out two butters and two oils and you can see that video on my Instagram. So that's um, great customer service. Um, I can't thank them enough for sending that out to me and, and I enjoy it. I enjoy these products and, and you will too. So give them a try. And, um, Give me one minute because I'm going to show you my collection. So there you have it. So this is my collection so far. Quite the collection, is it? What do you think? Just let me know in the comments. So as I was saying, the Berserker, this is one of my um, favorite scents. I've been using the hell out this, as you can see. And like I said, everything's listed right on the bottle. I mean, everything. I mean, you you can't miss a beat. <laughs> look, look at all that. That's what I love about Mad Viking. Everything's listed right there. Some companies, you got to like look for the ingredients or they don't have it listed. Mad Viking doesn't do that. Mad Viking is all natural for your beard. No cheap fillers. It's all natural and organic. So um, let me explain the um the hollow scent. All right. So the hollow scent profile, okay, is a mix of cedarwood, sandalwood, and pine oils for a smooth, fresh scent. <clears throat> Excuse me, a smooth, fresh woodcut scent. So I got the cedarwood and the sandalwood, but I didn't get the pine. But with the hollow, over time, when you have it in the beard. You start to smell the pine scent and it gets a little sweet. That's um through my nose though. You know, I don't know about anyone else, but it becomes a little bit of sweet because I believe that's because of the pine. So it's not a bad scent. You know, it's it's a nice mellow scent. Mostly uh Mad Vikings uh scent profile is like a mellow scent. It's not too strong. It's enough that you can really smell it. They, they did it just right. And like I said again, like the oils, they feel like like water. I'm like, wow. But if it's cold, it might get a little, little thick. Okay, the Valhalla, which is a sandalwood and the vanilla. Okay. I think the Valhalla is kind of like the strongest scent out of all of them. To be honest with you, this actually, this scent profile actually lasted more than like eight hours, in my opinion. Because, you know, when you rub it on your mustache, that's where you get most of the whiff of the scent profile, in my opinion. All right. And then we have the Gunnair. So 
this set profile is a mix of star anise, if I'm pronouncing it right, clove and sandalwood oils for a smooth, subtle black liquor scent. Now it says it has lavender in it too, but that's listed on the website. And I'll list the website down in the comment section so you can like go there and check out the scent profiles for yourself. I was also thinking about getting um whatchamacallit called, called the um the orchard and which is uh apple and vanilla i believe that's the scent profile but they have 16 scent profiles if i said that earlier so that's all i have guys that's the collection and um as you can see um i'm loving the products and like i said they're, they're so generous that they sent me out too for free so that's good hospitality right there and that's that's love right there that's all i could say <clears throat> all right guys i'm back so um hopefully you enjoyed that collection i think you did so all i can say is please give mad viking a try you will not be disappointed it's fantastic products um the three cents i like so far and i know there's more but the three cents i like so far is the valhalla the berserker and yotun's brew but right now, I'm feeling like Andy from Toy Story because my two favorite ones right now are the Berserker and Yotun's Brew. If you can see that right now. So this is like Buzz Lightyear and what's his name? The Cowboy Guy. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Woody, that's his name, Woody. Woody and Buzz Lightyear. But, yeah, I've been using the Berserker because it's, it's just a, uh, I'm using the Berserker the most, actually. Because it's just such a smooth, nice, subtle scent. You, you get that peppermint, that lemongrass, that patchouli and sandalwood. And it just, it just mixes all together well, just blends together well. And, it's just a phenomenal scent, you know, and Yotun's Brew. This is another fantastic scent. It's complex. You can't really even describe it, but it just, it smells damn good. That's all I can say. So, that's all I have. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if I missed anything. You know, give me a shout out. Um, if you didn't like the video... You know, of course, give it a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't like it. But I think you're going to like this one. So that's all I have to say for Mad Viking. Go mad with Mad Viking and keep growing those beards. This is Marvelous Beard and take care. Mm -hmm.